Isn't that bird loud? Hey guys, so today I thought I would dive a little deeper into a brand I previously only tried some bronzer products from. It is the brand Deck of Scarlet. They were kind enough to send me some additional shades of bronzer, bronzers, blushes, some highlights, some fragrances, and some shadows. It looks so interesting. So, so if you guys are curious about the brand and want to know more, then just keep watching. So previously I had tried just these three products on my channel and I've loved them every time I have used the Mistake Proof Bronzer in the shade Illicit. I had a fantastic makeup day, so it is truly gorgeous. And then the blushes I have are Savage and Relentless and they sent me an additional one to try, which is Unruly, which looks like a purple shade. And I've been very curious about purple blush lately. So I think we'll try that one today. Um, if you guys are curious to see the other blushes in action, I will do a swatch here of all the shades that I have, but you can refer back to that video if you want to see what these look like on the face. And the only makeup I have on my face today is the Yensa Skin on Skin BC Foundation, a mixture of fair neutral and light medium, as well as the CoverGirl Outlast Concealer. The instructions on the box are spray, slay, repeat, one pump, imparts a glow so radiant no one will be able to tell you're faking that flush. Shake well and spray onto a makeup brush or sponge, then swirl over the apples of your cheeks, blending up and out. Okay, bronzer first in the shade Illicit. Beautiful. Blush in the shade Relentless. You truly don't need more than one spray, like one does the job. Blush in Savage. And the newest shade, Unruly. Ooh. Oh, I just ran it into the others. Purple. Interesting. I am so curious about this purple blush. So curious. Just for the ease of use and not making a mess, I'm just going to spray the purple blush into my palette, my My Kitco palette. I don't know. I think I got this on like Amazon or something. You can see it's quite purple. And then I'm going to dip my blush brush in and see what happens. Okay, I can see how this could work for super, super fair people, but I don't think this is the right shade for my skin tone personally. Um, I think I'm going to go in with a bit of Savage and see if we can kind of warm it up a bit. It's like a peachy pink shade. Okay, that was able to save it a bit. I took the purple blush up onto my temples, so hopefully that can be covered with contour. Contour, right here. And I'm just going in with my Sephora 56 Pro Foundation Brush. And I know from experience, this is very pigmented. See, even with the purple blush and that contour, it just looks gorgeous. I don't know what it is. And I only used a fraction of what I sprayed out. I used all of the Savage blush, just a dot of the purple and just barely a dot of the bronzer. You do not need much at all. This color, I would not say is warm. I would say it's more olivey undertone. It's kind of hard to explain. It just looks so flattering on my skin tone. I absolutely love it. It looks amazing under powder or without powdering. These do pretty much set down so you don't have to powder, which is a really nice feature. 
After it's all said and done, I kind of like the purple and pink and bronzer mixture. Just saying. So I'm gonna let these set down a little bit more and we will try the fragrances. So they sent me two, they sent me Solar Aura and Scarlet. That's what the box looks like. This is what it looks like inside. It's like a little travel sprayer. Yeah, Solar Aura. So we'll see. Hmm. Solar Aura has more of like an herbally smell. Like an outdoorsy, herbally garden smell. I like that one. I'll put the notes here when I'm editing. It smells very fresh. I can't describe it. There's definitely something herbally about it. And then we have Scarlet, which very appropriately comes in the red canister. Again, twist to close, twist, twist to spray, twist to open, deck of Scarlet, Scarlet. This one seems like it leaked in transit though. That's unfortunate. Are you ready? Ooh, that one's much stronger. This one's more of a cologne smell. This one's lighter and fresher and more herb herbally. This one is more like a men's cologne or like a perfume that has been out a little bit too long and just is not quite smelling just right. I definitely prefer this one over this one for sure. So I will be keeping this one. All right, so face is set, no need to powder. So let's move on to the next product. This is the Deco Scarlet Mirror Glaze Highlighting Trio. Two blendable formulas, one iconic glow. The sleek package houses a duo of buttery soft powder highlighter on top and a gel cream highlighter in the jar below that work in tandem to glaze skin in a glassy mirror-like sheen. It says apply a pea-sized amount of the gel cream formula to the high points of the face, then layer the powder highlighter on top to give you a surreal lasting glow. It says wanna dial down the intensity where each formula is solo for a more subtle finish. <laughs> Not the shade we're going with today. This one looks peach. This one is peachy keen. All right, so it says on top is the powder. Oh, there's a powder duo. Okay. All right, so we've got I'm probably blonding with a mirror. I'm not sure either of these are gonna work for today. Those are the two powder highlights on top. And then if you unscrew the lid, and then we have the gel product on the bottom, which looks like a blush to me. Okay, well it definitely has some glow to it, but definitely looks more like a blush than a highlight to me. All right, well, so much for this cool tone makeup look. Now it's going to be a peach tone look. I think I'm gonna actually use my sponge for this and see what happens. Okay, small amount, we'll see what happens. All right, so it's adding some warmth to the cheek, but not actually a whole lot of color, which is nice. You can see it's just slightly warmer on this side than on this side. Not a whole lot of glow, which is good. It's not overpowering. Okay, now we can try the powder products on top. I'm pretty sure the gold one's not gonna look right on me, so I'm gonna try this peachy one. All right, that's pretty, but this is more of a blush topper for me than a highlight. Yeah, it's definitely more of a blush topper. I don't think this is a highlight for me. It just adds like some beautiful glow to the apples of my cheeks. So does it add a beautiful glow? It definitely does. I would just say this is a little too warm for my skin tone and I would use this as a blush and blush topper. So this was the pur purpley blush and the pale pink one. And then this has the highlighting trio on top. So I'm definitely glowy and peachy on the cheeks. So nice product is not the right tones for me personally. 
And then finally, we have four shadows from the brand. They're called Metal Leaf Shadow Pots. It says, no makeup masterclass required to nail a couture foiled eye. This metallic shadow pot does the job in one stroke. To apply. To use. Apply directly to eyelids using your fingertips. And that's all it says. So I will open them. We will swatch them and see what we think. And for reference, the tops of the boxes, they are different color to tell you kind of what color the inside shadow is. And this is what they look like on the bottom. You can kind of see just how like foiled and metallic they are. I don't want to drop any of them. And just so you know, when you open them, they have a protective lid. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to keep this so they don't dry out. So let's start with this one. This one is Mic Drop. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's like a green brown. Next we have Party Trick. These are such an interesting texture. They remind me of the Butter London jelly ones, but they're not that jellyish. They're firmer. Next we have All of the Lights, which is like a blue purple. They remind me of ColourPop Super Shock shadows, but ones that have dried out a little bit. And then finally we have Megawatt, which is like a golden bronze shade. Huh. Right there. So here are the shades of these really interesting shadow toppers or shadows. And since I'm in kind of like the pinky purple mood, I think I'm going to try this one. So again, this one is all of the lights right here. Whoa. They weren't kidding when they said one swipe. That's wild. Like that could be your look and you could be done. I kind of want to try the, this first one on the other eye. Well, that one didn't kind of spread across the lid as easily as the first one's a little bit drier. Still very pretty. So we've got like the pinky purple version over here and then the like green brown, green blue lid over here. Wow. I don't think this is one I would wear alone. I feel like this would be gorgeous on like a dark brown base to really bring out the green. This one by itself is really pretty. I'm getting a lot of that like bluish lavender reflectiveness. Super pretty. So that is it for what I have from Deck of Scarlet. Surprisingly, like the purple and the pink blush mixed together. Really interesting combination. Love the bronzer, which I already knew. The highlighting trio is an interesting concept. You get the cream base and then two colors to put on top. But I feel like the same person that likes this may not necessarily like this. I'm not so sure about this duo, but I do plan to use the jelly as like a cream blush and see how that goes and then these are really exciting why don't we just try let me just try this one on top of the other one because why not oh yeah now we're talking this one spread just like the first one no need to dip in again Ooh la la look at that foil shadow okay so these are really impressive I really like them. I plan to get a lot of use out of these. Wow. So all in all, I would say this video was a success. I didn't really have any flops. Just the highlight trio wasn't my exact shade, but I'll still get some use out of it, especially as a blush topper. Oh, and I did like the one scent, the other one, not so much. So I prefer the R1 over the Scarlet one, just personal preference. But all in all, I would say this video was a success. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing more from Deck of Scarlet. If there's anything else you'd like me to try from the brand, let me know down below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.